Super Shadow Super Friends, this is Fernando. Welcome to Roma. And behind me is the Colosseum. And happy Monday. Let us, let us explore Colosseum. Chak, ciao. Whitey, Ola Ola Coca Cola, Ola Ola Chow Chow. Fernando, did you happen to notice the dates that the Coliseum was created? In? No. Okay. Uh, There's oh, not. It was it was it was uh, completed in eighty eight. Wait. It was completed in eighty AD, and it took ten years to build. Eighty AD was here, and which is, if you remember, in Pompeii, a year after the Vesuvius erupted. That's seventy nine. Just seventy nine AD. After AD, so, and this is when this was completed. Colosseum was completed in in eighty AD. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighty. Oh, eighty. Eight zero. Oh, so this. AD. So this right after Pompeii. So almost two thousand years ago. Wifey, Tunisia Rose. Patrick, hello to you. Hi, super shout out. Savannah, hi, Chris G. And these trees, I'm sorry, what is this, Patrick? So behind us, actually, on this side, Fernando, we just to give a little context, is the Forum, oh, wait, Roman no. Forum. I'm talking about this tree, can you tell well, me? Well, and then this structure over here is called the Colosseum. No, I'm talking about this tree, look. This tree. Oh, the trees. The trees. So these are famous, yeah, I mean, they're pop. You can only find these in Italy. Well, you, you can, I don't know if that's true exactly, but they're, they're think... very common in Italy, in this, oh. particularly in this part of Italy, and they're called umbrella pines. Umbrella pines, super friends. If there. you ever look at a painting from the 18th century, usually, of Rome, you'll see in the background these very famous uh, umbrella pines. Umbrella pine. And, and they this? usually have these sort of flat, flattish tops that are rounded. And long uh, uh, branches. Long uh, trunks. And and Here, this straight ahead of us is a triumphal arch. Triumph. By, oh, erected by one of the, the emperors, maybe it's Titus. We're gonna get up a little closer and see. We're on the outskirts of the, the famous Roman Forum, which was the center and heart of the city. And unfortunately, we don't have time to go in there today. We're out of time, but we're going to try to do it tomorrow. Uh, but we're, we're able to sort of walk around it, get a sense um, of its scale, which is quite massive. The forum on this side to the left, here, the center of what did you say? The center, part in the center of the city of Rome. Oh, really? Oh, it's so now, right over the, here. The hills up here were these are the Palatine Hill. Pala. Palatine. Palatine. Palatine Hill, and that's remember Rome consists of seven hills. Uh, there's the Capitoline Hill at the other end of the Forum, Palestine Hill, Aventino is that way, uh, and various other hills throughout the city. But what we're really here to see is the Colosseum. Colosseum. And this right arch, here. the Triumph? So, it, it, uh, I'm trying to see if I can read that, but there should be an inscription somewhere. Here, on top. Here. That's uh, so Imperator Caesar. Can you, here, but can I, you can't, read? I can't read here. more than that. Wait. I'm trying to read up here. Can you raise it up a little bit? Tanisha, super shout out, SSO. Oh, Constantine. Okay, so this is Constant Constantine's arch, would have been erected in the fourth. Century AD, probably mid four, so three century, forty, three fifty, some, wow. sometime around, around there. Now about the time yeah, that no Constantine was emperor. 
It's really, it's really quite impressive. It is, but I'm I'm going to say it is older than than Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Yeah, the Arc de Triomphe is not as old as this one. Yeah, because it looks. Uh, I thought that's the queen of all uh, arches. No, not not. Maybe I mean maybe I for the modern period. I would to say they have yeah, to be protected. The fences. Like this one, the Arch of Triomphe in Paris, there are no arches. Like, I mean, there are no well, fences all, like this. All, in a sense, all Roman arches are triumphal arches. They were oh, that's why they called Arch de Triomphe. <laughs> well, that's what the French call it. And it's uh, uh, here, oh, here wow. we're looking at a... And it's to the time of, of the, the Here we're time. talking about uh, Constantine basically doing... It's, big, it's a big piece of political propaganda, basically. So... It's he still the, the test of time. It's still here, standing. Yeah, it's still here. Right? We're still talking about him, right? Let's go over here. Defense. Yeah, that's true. Main Foster. The Bailey. How are you? How is everyone today, super friends? Monday afternoon here in in Europe, and the forum is here. <laughs> Oh, Patrick, can we say here and the Liberato? There, it's like the last supper here. Big warm, super shout out. No, I mean, if everyone sort of looks back behind us to be able to see the interest of our room. No, I'm just looking over here. Cynthia Martinez, hi there. Super shout out, everyone. Oh, you're welcome, man. This is an impressive uh, sculpture, but you see, it's a little chip, the, the ledges. But it's still in great condition. Maybe this is very fragile. Wow. Well, you have to also remember that Constantine was a favorite of the Catholic Church because he legalized Christianity during the period of period and converted to Christianity. Oh, he did. And so it probably is possible that this church, this uh, arch, arch. Uh, this arch would have been protected. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, squirt, squirt, thank you so much. I gotta be only a what today and tomorrow left. And on the other, behind us is a Colosseum, which we're going to show you, of course. GC Garbatella. Okay. Ciao, everyone. Yay, look. And boom. Really Sorry. wonderful. Has have to be really, really high. I don't know, right? Look at that. And the other thing is that um, Roman sculptures and architecture like this were often painted. Yeah, painted, you said? Yes, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if the, I don't know for a fact, but this you can, one. See, you can see like by this time Roman, Roman art is not as good as it used to be, uh, you know, 100 years before. Oh, um, you can see like it's, it's like it's not quite. Sculpted very well, it's like wavy, uneven. Oh, it's like quite symmetrical. And by the time, by the time Constantine becomes a great, um, the the quality of Roman art and architecture starts starts to decline. And by the time, let's go close. Be another hundred years later, hundred fifty years later. Rome was really shot. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, 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 it
And so in, in this carving there. So Constantine is a very famous Miguel SSO. Let's let's walk around the Colosseum so so everybody can get a sense of the scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So we're looking at an arch, and we were here to. But it's quite impressive. Open up. It is very impressive. There's, there are more arches here in the forum, which the are far more impressive. But I'll just really? walk around this way. Yeah. Okay. Patrick, the steps here is are these um, original or are they these are pretty new? These are. Yeah, that, that's hard to say. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them were original. Um, some of them may have been buried for a while. A lot of this area would have been filled with homes and shacks and poor people living here. Um, and now the cobblestone. Now, uh, to me, these are probably more modern. Oh. Remember, Mussolini was the one that came in and actually started cleaning up all of these these sites in more orderly fashion to pr to preserve them. Because again, this was Italian heritage that he was trying to protect. That was really a new idea. That didn't come around until the 1800s. Still there, Sunshine and Super Supershadow. This is the color type. SD Namaste. Ciao, everybody, super friends. What's really interesting about this part of the Colosseum is that you get a cutaway. Uh, this would have been all filled in with what looks like two more layers of construction that would have. Mm -hmm. uh, Expanded yeah. the Colosseum out, but a lot of it looks like it had collapsed at some point. Do you think it collapsed or it just didn't get finished? It collapsed. No, it was finished. It was finished. fully finished in, in so 80 AD. The two layers of outer layer where they, they That's collapsed. Right. That's right. And, and so on the other side, you'll be able to see the more completed side. You know, starting here and then wrapping around, you'll see more of the, the marble. Remember, people would go up here and they would take what they wanted to build their own buildings. So when, when was that? All throughout the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, oh, okay. in, into the Renaissance. Uh -huh. In fact, probably late into, well into the 19th century. I think there were still people who were either living in these ruins, camping out, they were squatting in them, they were having fires, they were hanging the laundry, they were having babies uh -huh. and getting married. And so we just, uh, these were just big. And spinning the marbles. marbles. So kings would come and steal the marble for their palaces. Uh, they would melt down the bronze, the edifices, and the, uh, uh, the sort of decorative elements in these buildings. Marcos example, the, Antonio. The, the Pantheon, for example, the Pantheon Pantheon. was entirely bronze. And then all of that bronze had been melted down by, by the popes and reused at the Vatican. So it's very tragic that all that, that happened. But it is Chris World, right? And it's been like how long? More than two thousand years. It's been two thousand years. Yeah. And still standing. Right here, it's still standing. Of course, look at that thick, thick walls and the pillars. Okay, so the two ways we could go. One is uh, it's the Roman Forum, which we put. And this is the Palatine For, here, where the uh, Imperial Palace. But um, there. I'd like to go in here. Yep. Um, yep. We're going. So let's, let's, I I recommend just circling around the outside first, okay. just course. to give Super Friends a view, a, a, sort of an understanding of what Colosseum looks like from the ground on the outside before we go. There's so many so many things to cover here, so many things to see here. Unfortunately, we cannot see everything. No, we have Thank one you. more day, so. But Vatican is tomorrow. And now I understand why they said, why they said, Rome was not built in one day. <laughs> well said, huh? Super friends. True. So, so that's what I understand and, now. And Rome cannot be seen in one day either. It's, it's yep. got to be seen in many, many, so many, many, this many is a really days. Wonderful view of, of what the Colosseum wow, looked the, like. The closer you get, the the more astonishing it is, super friends. Whatever, Paul Shreves, Ellie's. Super shout out! That is true. It is not built in one day. It was not. It was not built in one day, and surely it is not possible to to see it in one day. Oh wow! It's magnificent. Patrick, come here. Oh, super friends! Woo. 
Wow. Are you seeing this in France? Ay caramba. SJ, it is marvelous. Huh. Breath taking. Well, Patrick knows his history for sure. Hey, Dan. Hi, friends. I think six jobs. Six jobs. Wait, wait, my friends. So, Patrick. And this is the forum, the the, the heart of of Rome, apparent for us. According to Patrick. Scooty, super shout out. Now, walking girl, super shout out. Okay, now we are going to go around the Colosseum, right, Patrick? Let's go, Patrick. Left or right? <laughs> Chateau Fighter. Jordan on this. Glitter bombs. Now, we're going to walk. <laughs> Chateau. Let's go. Patrick. Super shout out. Joy just breathtaking here. And still the biggest amphitheater in the world. Standing amphitheater. Yeah, it is. The amphitheater you know is usually a small one, like the one Central Park. Leo, Leo the 12th, 
What? View the 12 font map, max and the third, what is that? Uh, what do you see there? There. Uh, Leo, Leo the 12th, uh, Pontifex Maximus, uh, in the year one, three. three. So, um, that would have been Leo, Leo the 12th, and you, when they say Pont Pontifex Maximus, that means that the, the great built of the bridge movement. I know they have to put their names everywhere so they won't be forgotten. So very <laughs> so we just so if you get the tickets over there we can learn Latin at school here in France. It's funny. Walking girl. No, so Fernando, I want to ask you a question. Could you imagine living here? You mean in the city? The city of Rome. Rome? The eternal city. Would you rather live here than in the city of Rome? Fernando, I'll get everything. Alright, sorry, Fernando. Would you imagine, could you imagine living here? Maria, Maria, super shout out. Um, I think so. And I would love to live in one of these buildings, you know. It's not condominium, it's uh, apartment buildings, very old buildings. I think it's. It's fun, it's going to be amazing. You have a little balcony, yeah. it's just really beautiful. I love the balcony here. And you can have your own scooter to get around. Your own Vespa? Uh, Vespa, Vespa. I would have to have a Vespa, I think. Uh, but I don't mind. Uh, they have a good, they have a good metro system, I think. Shadow, Fred, did you notice? No, that is true, I don't see. Um, <laughs> uh, overweight people a lot here in in Roma. Also, Although if we moved here, we would be fat like within two weeks. In Napoli, We're already like, actually we've lost weight. We've eaten like pigs. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that's how we've been eating here, and I think we've lost weight. Yeah, um, I think it's all the YouTubing. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because uh, a lot of walking here. That's it. Hello, Will. Oh, thank you, Maria, for dropping by. Miguel, 8,000. Oh, uh, yeah. She's taking care of her grandson, her kid. But no, Tanisha, Alex, who is here? S SJ, Valerie. Yeah, I would love to live in one of these buildings with a balcony. This is what the Roman form would Sorry, they broke the Senate. The Senate. Oh, we've seen that. Jack won. Excuse me. Look how thick the wall, the, the wall is here. Ooh. More than, oh, gee. And horses. Here, Patrick. Where are you going? And then, uh, okay. But the, the view over there, that's the front, facing the farm is much better. Yes, of course. Okay, let's sit down. But the view over there was much better. Wait, 
Jordan, Jordan Anders said that Bruce Lee filmed the Dragon movie here. Dra Bruce Lee. Okay, okay, what were you saying? I'm sorry, Patrick, go ahead. So, what was I going to say? Unlike earlier Greek theaters that were built in the hillside, the Colosseum is an entirely freestanding structure. It drives its basic exit. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Alex Green. Freestanding sculpture. Architect, rather. Oh, and they have flies here. Yeah, we love the fly. flies. Flies. Oh. Maria, super shout out. Oh god, yeah, it was breathtaking when I panned the camera to the Colosseum. Wow, really breathtaking, god, yeah, super shout out, Anna and Jacqueline Brothers. Oh, you've taken some great picture, photo. Bonnie, super shout out, and we're going around it, and then we'll try to go inside. Come back. My guide is behind me. It's huge. This is huge, Patrick, right? And where is this leading to? Um, but I want to go inside. Um, huh? Okay, then we need to cross over. Let's go over here and cross over. Yeah. And this uh, umbrella, umbrella vine, which you can see almost anywhere in Rome. We did not see an umbrella vine in Napoli. Oh, in Napoli? Beautiful day. Maria says hi, Patrick. Are we late? Hi, <laughs> that's so. Chateau Fighter. I think we are late about 2,000 years. Are we late for the uh, uh, gladiator fight? You know, coming here, it's like it's. What do you think of Super Friends? What does it remind you when you see all these um, ruins? Or what movie reminds you? What what movie, movie comes to mind when you see things like this? What about you, Patrick? What about? What movie comes to mind when you when you oh, see all this? Gladiator. Gladiator. It's the most recent Roman movie that blockbuster movie that I. Okay. I, uh, what else? Ben Hur you said. Ben Hur with the Circus Maximus movie. Walked around the Circus Maximus in the way out. Gladiator definitely. Oh, what else? There's so Spartacus. many. Spartacus. Spartacus! Very good, Patrick. You win an iPad. And. Ciao, signore! Ciao, signora! Signora? Signore. Signore for a man and signora for a woman. And a hammer. Imagine watching Andre Bocelli perform. That oh, we're really? late. <laughs> Alex Cudi. I know. It's a hito. Watch out, it's behind you. Right? I know, um, Alex Cudi, yeah. I'm sure it's like really a wonderful experience to watch a concert here. And New York has nothing on it. I'm sorry. It's just really different. I won't say that, I'm sorry. New York is different. The real namaste, I know he wants some coffee. So what else? What what movies um, comes to my super friends? And the wedding? I mean photo shoot is happening here. Okay, then out of the way if you don't wanna be filmed. Get out! 
get out of the way. Madison Square Garden, 2000 years old. Very good, Joe Hernandez. Patrick. Joe Hernandez said Madison Square Garden. Oh my god, This is it? Joe Hernandez. That is very, that's a great observation. 2000 years ago. I think that that's exactly what they had in mind. That's yeah. exactly what they thought. But what a terrible failure. <laughs> it, it, didn't, it doesn't come close to anything as bad. Right, the shit. Real numbers there, yes, Patrick needs coffee. Hey, Warren stress it. And it's the modern version of the decay. <laughs> Uh, what? Joe Hernandez. Joe. 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 Yeah. Very and smart, Joe. Very excellent observation. You're totally right. I agree with that. And Warren Hernandez said this. I'm sorry. Warren Stetson, a modern <laughs> in New York. What? New York. It's a modern version of DK. Yes. Oh yes. You're right. They should tear that thing down. The difference between Coliseum and Madison Square Garden. The way of the way of dragon with Bruce Lee shadow shadow. Alex, oh yeah, Alex Cudi has a channel, my friends, and she also has. A, I mean, she designs jewelry. She sells them. AlexCudiArt.com. Earrings, really one of a kind earrings. So they didn't want to, they didn't want to be filmed uh, the the wedding. Well, frankly, most but people then hide, like go inside. <laughs> right now they're 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 there to be recorded in their own way. Their yeah, own way, so. but but you cannot uh, prevent being filmed by other people. Well, you can if you have a choice. Bruce Lee in Rome and maybe a fight scene inside the Colosseum. Really? We're going to find out. Hey, Biga Dior. So it's, it's Tell us some history time. about this place, Biga Dior. I think we're running out of time. Let's go. It's fine, man. We have to go on your own. What time is it, Patrick? I don't see much bricks here. Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee. Is Bruce Lee still alive, by the way? Hello. And the surroundings. Gamor Super Shot out. Good to see you again. Welcome to the Coliseum. Pius the 7th. What is it? Pius the 7th. Oh, Pius. The seven and on the other side was it? What was it? The other side on the other side? Leo the twelve. Leo the twelve, and this is seven. Anno year seven. Yes, and I'm not sure what that again. What that means exactly? On the other side, it was Chibe, Mayhem, Pizza the Bread. <laughs> no. When you stand the seven uh, AD, I think, I think it's closed. But let's go down and see. It the tickets over there. We go down now. They are Ben Benedict's Benedictus. What is that? What did it say? Casey, oh, Alfredo Kuya is here. In the distance. Oh, Alfredo is here. Kuya, super shout out. Welcome to Rome, Kuya boy. Gamo, Kuya boy, Alfredo. Casey, Tammy, Gamo, Alfredo. Alfredo, my Kuya. Super shout out, enjoy on this chateau. You mean boy? Yeah. 
boy, yeah. Nice, shout out. When you say seven, the seven ED? In the year seven. I mean, no. I mean, Elias would have been Pope during the, the Renaissance. So I don't, I'm not sure what that means. Sorry. Yes, Asian, good to see you. JJ, three J's. Patrick Puya says hi. Hi. All hi. is well. Yeah, it's Thank close. you. Museum's closed now. Right here. Bigadio makes me want to play Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so history, any? Can you tell us again anything about this, Patrick? Colosseum. Colosseum. Yeah. Uh, so it was. Um, it's. I believe it's still the largest Amphi? uh, amphitheater in the world. Still at this point. Yes, it is. Um, and I think it could it could it uh, handle up to 20,000 people. The largest out of, in the world. There's one in in, in Central Park. It's really small. It is amazing, but wait, super friends. Wait till I get to the front, and the the view from there is just really breathtaking. As combination of weather, neglect, and vandalism. Oh wow! What really? Patrick, look. By the twentieth century. Combination of neglect, vandalism, what else? Uh, more other things? You can see all those like pits, pits arenas. Out metal, yeah, including. Stuff like that. Digging up the lead supports. What do you mean? Oh, those, uh, the yeah, holes? Those, like, big holes that people dug in. What was in there? Or what were... They would take the metal out. What, would... what kind of metal? Would, the metal was used to. Uh, uh, would, would use to cinch two blocks of We saw the same thing at. at um, Okay. And what did they use uh, those? They used iron and metal. I'm sorry, I'm iron and lead. What did they What did they do with those iron me or metal? Well, they melted it down and they used it and they made things like spoons and pots and, and stuff like that. Weapons? Weapons, yeah. Knives. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Probably more stuff to use for practical reasons. Bigot Yoset was built in 1780. It was began, it was began in, in 70. It uh -huh. took about 10 years to complete. And it finally opened in 80. And 10 years after, hi, ciao, ciao, hi, Bella. Hi, ciao. And 10 years later, Pompeii was buried in by the volcano. Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79. The so last super shout out. According to Pliny the Younger. Oh, that's why, but they, they didn't have enough source of uh, metal then? No. So say. people were living in these things. They didn't have any money, they had nothing. And so they were just living from the land. And so if they found a Roman ruin that was filled with marble, they'd sell that and or chip it off. Or if they found some metal in it, they'd use it to melt, melt, melt it down and, and make something else out of it or sell it. Yeah, but it wasn't easy. Look, it's on the second floor. There were people living up in there space. Here's the other thing. Popes sent workers over here from time to time all throughout these ruins to excavate precious metals. Mm -hmm. And stones. To find treasures that were buried, to find marble that could be ripped off of the facades of old Roman ruins mm -hmm. and then repurposed for their own palace. Yeah. So it was done by common people all the way up to the top of the chain, including popes, uh, aristocrats, wealthy people. Just it was systematic and it took place over hundreds and hundreds of years. And, and just imagine all these people who had to labor hard to have this built, right? So it wasn't if it was, easy. If there were no Ina? people that had been here after this, after Rome had, had fallen, it, most of this stuff would probably be in pretty good shape. A lot oh. more of it would be existing. Yeah, Israel the Coliseum had seating for more than 50,000 spectators. Well, 50,000, wow. That's a lot. 
that have been who may have been arranged according to social I mean that's ranking. That's quite extraordinary because I don't, I don't think the population of Rome like ever exceeded two hundred thousand. It is two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, it's like in the movies, right? The arena was was filled with people. Well, we'll start to go near. They close at 7 p.m. so we have time, Patrick. Or if you have time. Ciao, Bello. Ciao, Bello. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Cipriani, Valeria, super shout out. Where some film. Though there were some female gladiators, all the audience ancient were men. Um, um, Alex, if you remember, we went to we went to Pompeii, yes, and women were not allowed, but they would wear the long gown. Everyone was wearing a long gown. They would wear women would wear a mask. Slaves condemned criminals. Of that's right. So it's like watching. Gladiators by, I mean, with who's that? Who was that guy? The British actor. The British actor who won actually Oscars for that. Oh, what is his name? To kill, not survive. Yep. Yeah, you're you're forced to 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 kill. Otherwise, you'll be killed. Just like the mo movie Gladiator. Tarik Benakitoris. Out and about, super shout out, and welcome to the Colosseum. So we'll ask Patrick about this. No, not them. Uh, who is that guy? Super friends, Russell, Russell Crow, Gamo. Very good. You just want an iPad? Please send two thousand dollars <laughs> for shipping. I know, Jack. We need to do that. And everyone's asking Patrick to take a picture. Patrick. And then over here, super friends, umbrella vines, skinny trunks. And flat uh, top part, the Joker. And this is the forum that way. We tried to go there, but we got lost. We were behind it and there was no entrance there. So we had to come around here. get a chance to watch my video oh no not get out and about I yeah I watch it later Super each other is to maim or crack his opponent that's leading to the forum right Patrick Okay. Leading to the forum that way and with the, with the arch. Okay, there are two entrances. That is actually leading, leading to the Palatine Hill to here through that arch. And then through here, underneath this, this brick building, it goes into the farm. Uh -huh. So we could go. I think we just came back to our. What is? See the Vatican at 2 morning tomorrow. And by the afternoon, we'll come back here again and try to pick up where we left. So what are we going to do now? Well, I think for now, because I oh. have to meet someone. Okay. I have um, to meet an artist. Uh, I was going, okay, I was going to ask her. Oh. Because over there, there's, there are parts of these columns covered in, covered in bricks. 
Yes, that's right. You mean they did not get to so, chip so, it away? So, uh, that's right. So if you're going to chip through there, you, you get to bricks. The bricks. Yeah. So there's there are some pillars there or columns with... Going up, you'll see basically bricks, and then you'll see different kind of limestone and pumice used to paint and then concrete to cover up uh, the facade to give it more of a, a lighter, brighter feel. The other thing is that a lot of the brick work is restoration also. A restoration. So, oh yeah, because uh, so, the... You, here's a cross section. So you can see, you can see the arch and how it's constructed out of bricks, right? And then on, on the underside, you can see how it's been sort of plastered over with concrete. Oh, it's not, a, it's not a scaffold. I will show you in a, in a, in a few. Um, yeah, you know, bricks, you have to constantly repair it. Well, I don't know, maybe in, uh, every decade. Yeah, uh, well, the other thing is that there were earthquakes and things like that that would have caused the structure to weaken or crumble mm -hmm. at some time. So it was constantly being yeah, like, repaired. Like my hotel, I, I think every decade you have to check it for damage or you just have to replace the, the bricks that, were, that are loose. Um, yes, we're going to we're going to the, the, the Vatican, but the time is we have to be there in the morning, and that means it's going to be like four or three o'clock in the morning in the U.S. of A. or in America. I think that's okay. I think it was I think, yeah, possibly do everything that's perfectly in sync with the U.S. because we're six hours ahead. So, that's true. So what we should try to do is see as much as we can make everything accessible to. Although maybe a super friend can say, hey, would you rather us go to the Vatican? Would you rather us go to the Palatine and the Armand? Um, what would your preference be? I think, no, I think I'm going to, due to popular demand, which is my decision. <laughs> there. Look at that. No, the bricks, really... brick after brick after brick after brick. There's so much work. It's a sign. It's really amazing. Yeah, just hi, Peter. It makes me, it makes me exhausted. <laughs> just, just think of the, all the I mean, pieces. It's, it's very inspiring, but it's also like, oh man, how much work it, 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 it requires to maintain. No, build them. And the the uh, subway station over here. Back no pink super shout out, Patrick. Oh, like this one is a perfect example of Patrick, like uh, covered in brick this part and then they were chipped to remove the the metals, the precious metals. So late, super shout out. <laughs> so lambing ba? Who are you Patrick? Look, come here. Like here is a perfect example. Oh, you know, look through the door so that they, they can see what it's like inside. Like, but first, um, can you look at this Patrick? Look. And uh, covered in bricks. And then this part, they removed the bricks to get to the, to the metals. Right? Right. There. So this Colosseum was all of the, the whole structure was covered in bricks. Of this, the, the outer part is built out of brick, and then it was faced with limestone and pumice. The outer part, yeah. The other part was covered in bricks. Yes. Now we can. No, no, no. The the inside structure is brick, largely. Then what about this one? This well, that's, part. that's restoration. Work. Oh, restoration. Yeah, I think what they've done here in some cases is. Take a pink. Rather than um, you know reconstruct. All of this hummus work and really beautiful. Facade what is it called again? Hummus? Hummus. Hummus. Or, uh, um, or hummus. B U M I C. Yeah, it's like a light. Oh, it's like the sense. one you use for your heels. Yeah, that's hummus. right. Hummus. That's right. Okay, it and sounds maybe like hummus. More, we, they used it in the, the, the Pantheon as well, if you listen to it. The Hum, hummus. Hummus. Not hummus. hummus. Yeah. Hummus, but, <laughs> but hummus. <laughs> okay. And which is a rock, and it was very ah. light. Light and light colored rock. That's fine. And you know, that could be limestone or I'm not really sure yet. But, but listen, I so some of this 
brickwork may be replacing that. Uh, a lot of it's, it's both structural and aesthetic. But what's nice about it is that because you can see that it's made out of brick, then you know it is restoration work. It's not part of the original structure. Mm -hmm. See how deep that rock is? It's quite deep, right? So that's not the same here. This is newer restoration. Right? Yeah. Okay, at. this way it's uh, see over flawless here. over here. It's flawless there, so it's mean. Yeah, but it's bricks. You know why you want your costume to be brick? You want it to look like that. You want yeah. it to be bright, light color. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like the the arch the the, uh, the arch, travel arches. Uh, built the of arch. here. The costume is built of travertine limestone. Limestone. Volcanic okay. volcanic brick face concrete. Brick face concrete. Wait, what? Here. Limestone tough. Tough is volcanic rock. And brick face concrete. Wait, what? Oh, tough volcanic rock. And brick face concrete. Okay, so, right, so then they would have taken the concrete and the plastic. Just like with uh, Pompeii, remember how the, yeah. the columns were made out of brick? Uh -huh. And then they were shaped to look like the, the, they achieved with the brick the shape that they wanted, and they covered that with concrete. Arthur, super shout out, Maria Sinko, oh, a grandmother. So, so I think what you're seeing down here is more solid than this. Mm -hmm. Like more solid limestone, maybe. The puke pumice? The top, I guess. Are you, I agree. Pumice, okay, I think I'll end this. Wait, I'm here. Not the We're done over here. Come, please. L, super shout out. Do you want to take a picture behind it? I mean in front of it? One way right here. Patrick? Do you want to take a picture? No, we pass. Do you know why? Survey X, super shout out, you're just in time. A breathtaking view of the Coliseum. friends are like waiting for us to do this. Thank you, Patrick. Que lindo. Oh, thank you, uh, El, I mean, Alex. Really? Uh, El, he called you? Great, great. And that's right. How's your husband? Soleil, say hi to husband. Mark? So one last time, super friends breathtaking view oh there oh. 
Or actually this. So I'm going to show you a blissful super shout out. Me and Rosie. He's so breathtaking. Like that. And the breeze behind me making it like uh, <laughs> magical. Obi War, super shout out. Daddy, how long have we been together? years it's yes. we've been together since before the, before, uh, before the Colosseum was built before Vesuvius erupted, before, Vesuvius erupted. Before, Vesuvius erupted. before eradicator super shout out Arthur Lopez this survey X it is breathtaking I mean you're looking at it and I mean Ganda. Yes, bro, super shout out. Patrick, what about long ago? Long ago, is that a, can we describe it? El, hi. Oh, El. What ha Congratulations, El. What was going to happen to Amazon without you? I'm so great. Say hi to him, and we'll be in Times Square this Saturday. But super friends, here, one last time, I'm going to keep quiet. That's right, Peter Bijma. And remember, Rome was not built in one day. And I so believe that saying. And having said that, we cannot see Rome in one day. It's just beauty after beauty after beauty. And Patrick wanted Rod Super Shot All Kuya. Patrick wanted us to go to to the forum which is in front of this Colosseum we just <laughs> Joe Hernandez <laughs> Gracias. I'm gonna make me go <laughs> oh, pasta okay I had pasta I had lasagna this morning for lunch brunch almost And Pat is going to a dinner, dinner tonight. I said, no, I don't want to join because I have... Um... Happy birthday! Is it Marco by the name of your husband? Ate, Ate Torisolel, happy birthday! Super friends! And if you notice my, my banner is made by, by Soleil's husband. Super shout out! And thank you. And sometimes I use the thumbnail, thumbnail art uh, made by Soleil's uh, husband. Suzuku! Arigato! Moichido, Suzuku san! Sugoi janai desu ka? Desho? Ai, Subarashi! Subarashi is Japanese for wonderful. Oh, L, oh. Oh, please say hi to Mama. And super shout out. And give her my three moshi moshis, please. Trevino, Trevino Fountain. Patrick? Trevino Fountain. Matt S, super shout out. Lydia? That one is Trevino Mountain. Trevino Fountain. Tomorrow. We're going there tomorrow. Oh, wow. Although, I think we should go there tonight. The Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain? Yes. Okay. I'm going to... It's going to be like Times Square. We do... Um, I just don't know what... What Jews come on... I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. 
Help, please say hi. Give, give three moshi moshi sumami. Can <laughs> Patrick, you know super fans, they talk my language now. <laughs> you should get a certificate. I know, right? I say... I don't know when they're going to use it. But... Uh, sometimes they don't mean, but I say it anyhow. Maybe at the UN, they can... Uh... <laughs> Translate. <laughs> they say bonga, they say like moshi moshi, like they don't even... <laughs> they, we just say it anyhow, you know? <laughs> but we say it, it's not... It doesn't actually... It doesn't make sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. Oh, wait, we're going to Strawberry Mountain. There you go, Metal Lounge. Oh, no, Joy Nanda said this is um, <laughs> Madison Square Garden, 2000 years after this was built. <laughs> That's right. Give her three bongas. Can we use little scissors? For low pay, so little scissors. Oh, I know, man. Just think of all the, the the people who labored to get this done. Right? Like the movies we see? Like Cleopatra? I mean, in the movies, my brother. Yeah, let's head over this way. Okay. Uh, we've been standing here for a long time, so we need to like, uh, move a little bit further over here. Okay. And it's 6 o'clock, so. It's beautiful. I say a beautiful shot. In, in fact, I got that shot that as well. So breathtaking, right? You ready, Gator? Says hi. We are. Oh, Patrick, they say hi to you. Hi. Hi, some friends. We're going to go home now. Soleil's husband's birthday. Who's? Soleil. Soleil, happy birthday. The husband. Her husband. They're Filipinos. Ah, they're Filipino. Yeah, uh, and he made the, he made the, the thumbnail. Happy birthday. How do you say happy birthday in Tagalog? Kay karamba. Maligayang. Maligayang? Kaarawan. Kaarawan? Yeah. Cleopatra, beautiful name. Yes. So tomorrow, um, when do we go? I want to go to the Vatican in the afternoon so we can stream it. Soon all of ill will be on the lockdown again? You think so? She looks like a, a goddess. Mm -hmm. They were used for weapons. And they literally is. We dropped off our laundry and paid 25 euros. Ah. And they're not even doing it same day. 25 euros, like 40 bucks. You get the bucks. Body brush up. Oh. like, I think two t-shirts and some socks. What else was it? What is this? I know. Oh, here, here. My God, that police guy. <laughs> to sing under there for... Definitely the Radigator. No, I wouldn't touch that horse. Touch the what? <laughs> Not that I love horses, but they horses. will fight you if, if they do it. Don't like you. Or unless you don't, if you don't know the horse. They, they, they were treating those horses so badly. I know. I know and enough. I'm filthy and happy, and I bumped into one. The horse? Virginia, and it freaked out. Oh, God, it was horrible to I didn't get hurt, but. In the Philippines? Uh, in the Philippines. And everyone looked at me like I had done something to the horse. I was like, I didn't. I didn't do anything to the horse. So, do you know our, where we're going to? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go uh, to the 
Metro, we're going home now, super friends. Piazza, maybe, uh, Del Popo. But do you know which uh, train? No, but we'll figure it out. It's B, own. we have to change. Yeah, we'll have to change. We need the A. We need the A, so. Um, we we'll change at. Pomino. Un momentito. Here, hold this passing. Yes, Tell me to get it. Yes, but. Okay. Anglais. Seven two hours. One hundred minute ticket. What about a forty hour charge? Okay, we'll use it. Okay. All right. You're right. No, we don't need it. But well, we'll be using it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll definitely be using it. Tomorrow. Seven dollars. No, it's it's uh. All right. It's only one. Go ahead and do it. What it means from over there? What? Why is it? Why did it turn me? Wait, I'll try something. Do you want it in low, low power mode? No, no. Just close it? Uh, Fernando is adeptly navigating the uh, ticket machine here at the Roman Metro. I'm not inserted. Also, I'm going to say, big deal, big deal, big deal. Your credit card. There's a credit card. Need a credit card? Here. Here, use it. So, you can talk to them about the. About. Huh? Yeah, it's not okay. Like, oh, see that? Why? You want it now? Okay. Uh, let's just use a card. Yeah, I don't know how. Cards not a, doesn't accept card. Can you see? Oh here, card, credit card. You want my card? I was very excited. Hi, on the other hand. Okay, let's see. Let's try. Can you try that? No credit card. I don't think no. Okay, the machines kind of don't work. Okay. Go. Go look and see if there's a machine over here. We try here. All right, we're gonna try another machine. This is the Vigliatoria Automatica ticket machine for the Metro in Rome. Um, Am I doing the right? Uh, do you have small? Senor, can, um, oh, can you, know, you change? Uh, oh, six, six, a credit six, card. Six, credit card. How many tickets? Do it. Credit card, okay now. Two. It's three euro, but we don't give you one euro more. Okay. So, okay, so we're using the right amount. Which card is possible with contactless? Just like this? Five, five, five euro. Five euro. <laughs> dollar, don't answer. Okay. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie. Hi, right, caramba, start again. Fernando is a... <laughs> treacherous oh, system. Oh, okay, we got coins now. I don't have to use this. You're not using, you're not using uh, US dollars, correct? Ah. What about uh, no Filipino pesos either, right? Peso, that's right. I want you guys, super friends, to understand though that even though we're having an exciting moment here with
Ando has successfully navigated us through all of the extreme restrictions and uh, he got us into an amazing hotel in Roma which is really beautiful and in short he has been nothing less than amazing traveling with him because he's made my time here so much easier what we go to Termini here so now we need to figure out how to get to no not Garibaldi because that's in Naples okay so all right so we want we are right here Colosseo no Termini Termini so very easy Ah, okay. Cavour. This if, is Rebibia. We're not going to Rebibia. Oh, the direction. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, you're right. Oh, yeah, we you don't want to go to uh, no, Laurentia. So we go this way. Okay, you're right. Delhi? Very okay, good. super fun. Feels nice. Feels like, oh, okay, I can do this. <laughs> then we change train. We're going to change train after trains after yeah. two stops or three stops. And the trains here, they get really crowded too. Like so crowded, so, so crowded. Yes. Wait, here. Today is, well, it is Russia. Buffer, oh, is it buffering? It is a subway, that's a... You were going to buffer, so we may lose you, super friends. We need to change trains. Perfect. But this, this station is not... goodbye yeah, just in case we get yeah. caught? Mm -hmm. Okay, super friends, come over here for a minute. Wait, I'm, I'm looking at the, the people. camera. I'm going to... Okay. We are at... We are at Coliseo. Coliseo. We go to Termini. Then Termini, we take the A train to... One, two, three... Here. Henrik. Um, Patrick, are you going to can you say more crowded than NYC? But um, I don't know. I don't know the the the, the, uh, the metro system that well. I would say it's not as crowded. Uh, well, um hey, from yesterday's experience. Well then you have to consider where we were. We were at the train station right on, on <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, yeah yesterday and it was uh Late afternoon. Henry. I just don't think so. I don't know. Hi, Melissa. Well, yesterday at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Come here. Come here. So, there are 5 million riders every day in New York City. So, that's, that would be the way to compare it. Mm -hmm. What it is in, in Rome. Hey. Okay. Uh, so, Termini. Yeah. 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 Termini. Yes, that's right. Uh, you have to go to Cabo and then Termini. I, I you can take like both, Zonia or Reviva. Uh, you can take like both metros that are coming. Oh, oh yeah. Now we need to go to Termini, change to A. Ah, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Termini, right? You want to change oh, either one is okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Either one. Okay. So here, Termini is a terminal station, a grand, the, it's like Times Square. <clears throat> Excuse me? Oh, here. Super friends, if we lose you, super shout out. Thank you so much for your time. And maybe I'll swim again tonight by myself. So graffiti. Yeah, you need to take it I do. Yeah. And the trains are wide. Thank you. Yeah. Patrick. Sorry, my lose Colosseo. This one has air condition. Oh, you see any train? It's a terminal. Prossima fermata, Cavour, treno che Previa, Muxtop, Cavour, Previa. Thanks for being here. Yeah, no bombs. Uh, it closes. Uh... 
Tabura, uscita lato sinistro, arrivi in alto, Tabura, left side exit. Next, where are we going? Next stop. Are they, can I still see us? Yeah. yeah. I'm super friends. Where did you take them? Tabura, treno per Redibia. Tabura, tranquillo, Redibia. This is not a very deep station. Yeah, it's not as deep as the, uh, the one in Toledo is like so deep. The the train station in Napoli, the, Napoli. the Toledo station. So deep like uh, three long no, elevators, no, no, no. escalators. No, no, no. Trains here are white. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. In fact, they're a little more narrow. You're standing in the middle. Yes, I see. No, we get out. We change the trees here. Oh, there, traffic A. A. So we need to take A, which is going to be. Ooh, I think we're going to lose the super fans. Arthur, that was not very deep. This time, I think we're going to lose you. Some 
basta I want some pasta. <laughs> oh, super fans, we're back. Why Richard Taylor. No, Patrick, I have to do things. Mm -hmm. Hey, Richard Taylor. Tanisha Rose, thank you. Yeah, we're up now. We're on the street now. We're going to Piazza del Popolo, right? And where is uh, Fountain Trevi? You think it's going to be a fun uh, place to visit? Pass. Signa, okay. super shout out and welcome to Rome, super friends. You just missed the Colosseum. Really breathtaking Colosseum. RJ, hi there, super shout out. And we're ending the stream shortly, but I may have to start another one, maybe after two hours. So friends, the entrance, the key to Piazza del uh, po -po -polo. Po -polo. Popolo. This is actually a gate. Hi! <laughs> My friend, I thought you were saying hi to me. There's a gate back here. There's only a door. Yes, I know. We talked about that last time. Oh. It is open. And the obelisk. So we were here last night. To our hotel, Jane Go, Marvin Angel, Angel. That way? Okay. Yay, beautiful, right? If you've come here, you would have to join a, you know, a group tour, a small group tour. So then they would tell you secrets about that place, you know. And it's easier that way. Like today, we went to the Pantheon and we paid 15 euros, right, for the tourist guide. Oh, that is so lovely, this place. Hi, Jane Hi, Jane. Hello. Ciao. You like that? The, what color is that? It's not red. The balcony with the plants. It's going to rain tonight, for sure. Really? What do you mean? What kind of rain? Rain rain or? Rain rain. Ooh. And up tomorrow by daylight, by, by daybreak, but and then Wednesday it's going to rain all day. You mean it's going to be heavy rain tonight? Uh, we'd have to check the weather again. Oh, I'm not I sure. Know. I know it's, it's 
It's going to rain off and on throughout the night. IWF. From Tunisia. Uh, pretty, I'm okay. Moving nonstop, which it's been a lot of fun. But yeah, by the end of the day, it's like, oh, it's Hold time, it's time to take a nap or eat some pasta. Hold <laughs> on, Edwards. <laughs> I am actually looking forward to uh, a pasta meal. Fernando and I agree on that, that's for sure. That you know, whatever happens, as long as there's a uh, bowl of pasta at the end of the day, we're, we're, up, we're both okay. But we're funny, happy, very funny, because when I'm in New York, I I don't remember going to an Italian restaurant to eat a, a bowl of pasta. <laughs> well, we used to go to Olive Garden. Salmon <laughs> color, very good. Salmon color, but that was years ago. Right, very charming, right, um, Jane Doe, the plants on the balcony. Oh yes, very. I very love good. it. Uh, Jane Doe said it's salmon color. Uh, one more door. One more door. Oh, it's open. Is that Charlie shopping super friend? Patrick? What? Over there, is that Charlie? No. This is our hotel. You know, only the second floor is the hotel. The rest, I maybe office or residential, maybe small, but this is bigger than the one we had in in uh, Napoli. Oh, good. Now ten percent left. Jr. Super shot. Super shot up. Evia. Super shot up. Yes, yes. Okay, everyone. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Oh, you know the other thing is that wearing this mask all day is kind of drives you crazy. Yeah, hey, uh, it's on the inside. Oh, you're going to see our room. Uh oh, is it a mess? Yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, but we're going to end now. Goodbye. I'll just show you really quick, and it's perfect. Okay, and then we'll end. Which one is? Oh, this one. There's only six rooms. rooms and there's no reception. The reception is on the end. Just a quick room tour and then that's it. And then I'm just going to really quick pass it. Here is our friends. So we'll end now after showing you this. And I'll see you later, everyone. Rubens. Super friends, thank you so much. That has been our stream for today. And I'm going, you know, be super shout We're going to see in maybe two hours. We're going to charge the phone and the, the keep out. Super friends, thank you. Goodbye, salamat.